Good morning, guys, and I'm getting situated. <laughs> Good morning. It's three o'clock. Hi, welcome back to the vlog. It is now two days later. We had a pool day yesterday. Fun, relaxing, chill. Today we are up in town. I rode this morning. I left Will inside. What'd you do? I slept in. I literally, I applied to a job. Uh, I did not sleep well last night. I got like four hours of sleep maybe. So I woke up super early and couldn't get back to sleep. And then when you left, I was like, out like a light. Finished taking care of the Huskies this morning. That's the last until the 7th. And I cleaned the barn. Finally got back inside around 1 o'clock. And now we're at Chipotle. We're trying this Chipotle hack. And I'll include the link of the video that I got the inspo from in the description down below. But it doesn't seem like it totally works. Like it works in the the original TikTok video. Like you have limits to how many things, customizations and things you can put on it. But overall, still probably like a decent amount of food so. for only $3.55. So not as well as the original TikTok, but still, still kind of works. I think you're better off getting a bowl. I, my theory is a bowl with like extra like rice, extra beans, extra everything that you can get for free. So, because there's no limits on that. Mm -hmm. So, I added two tortillas and we'll see how it pans out. I guess I gotta make three though for it to work financially. Okay, so we have 10 minutes before we can go inside to pick that up. And then we're gonna run some errands today. And we have a fireworks show tonight. Not bad. Get this in here like that. I'm sure I'm gonna do it the other way. Alright, it's got two of these big ass burritos. I don't know so if I've got far. enough for a third burrito. You that's definitely, definitely do. Me. You think so? I don't think it'd be as big as this one. It might not be as big, but sure it's still huge. Thank you. I would say that was a success. I would definitely call that a success. That was good. There's definitely like some manipulation you can do with it. Will got two ginormous burritos out yeah, of it. And almost still enough had to make extra. a third one too. Yeah. I was and full after like a burrito. Yours was like ten dollars. Mine was three fifty five. And mine was definitely like bean heavy, but it was still like a solid burrito if you're balling on a budget. Yeah, mine was like really rice heavy. You said yours had a lot of beans. Yeah. Yeah. Mine was like I noticed mostly beans, but still good. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> Off to Target to get a bunch of stuff that we need. As you saw, Target. I didn't record Aldi, but we went to Aldi to pick up granola bars that only are sold there. And we just got crumble. Again. 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 They led me to you every single time you look at me. I lose it. Update, we are at the fireworks show. Sit next to me, let things happen naturally. Like you used to be. Good morning. Vlog. It is actually 
two days later, um, the fireworks show you just saw with Will and I was on the third, and it is now the fifth, and we had quite the eventful day yesterday. Oh my goodness. Tippy is just attacking me. Gosh, I cannot focus. These kittens are just so gosh dang funny. They are all like... <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ow. Jeppy. I'm standing up. I can't. I was going to have a cute little moment. <laughs> it is now the 5th, the day after. All my family, not all my family, a lot of my Georgia family came into town yesterday. My Aunt Tammy, Uncle Jimmy, Whitney, Nico, and their two kids. And we had a lot of fun yesterday. We stayed at home, we were in the backyard, we have like a little mini pool set up, showing the kids the horses, like all that fun stuff. Well, and I watched episode two of The Bachelor that night, Bachelorette, and now we're here. Um, Will and my cousin Whitney and my mom and Lennox, her kid, are all out grocery shopping right now and getting some supplies. Apparently they're buying a smoker. So I'm gonna use this opportunity to ride. I'm gonna pull Ray out and um, do some barn chores because I meant to help my mom this morning and I could not get out of bed this morning until like 11. So that's what we're gonna do now. if I'm gonna ride yet because I just trimmed her bridal path or was getting up here to trim her bridal path and I found she has this little spot hold on I say little spot it's like very much clearly ouchy to her it looks kind of like something has like was oozing and bleeding and maybe dried clearly she is not happy about it but like some of her hair was like dried down to her skin. I know, baby. I, I don't know if she just like hit her head on something. I don't know. I might not ride today and then have my mom come look at it later. Cause it, I don't know if this is actually like a bump. She's clearly not happy about me being up here though. So it definitely hurts. Whatever it is, it's apparently very ouchy and dried oozy, but still ouchy because she does not want me to touch it. And she's done with me, so I am gonna, okay. Um, we are gonna give her some scratches and some love instead, even though this would have been the perfect opportunity to ride, and I'm pretty sure it's far enough forward that her crown piece wouldn't be on it or close to it, or it'd be close, but like it wouldn't be like on it, on it. I'm gonna have my mom come out here when she gets back and see what she thinks. Um, so we're just gonna give her some scratchies and do some barn chores. Hey y'all, it is editing Chloe from the future and I can actually tell you now that it was in fact a tick bite that had gotten infected. Her forelock though, I'm looking at the footage of me editing right now. Her forelock is just so thick and it was ouchy so like she really didn't want me to be up there so like i really couldn't dig in there but my mom and i were able to do it together and my mom said she was able to see like the actual spot where the tick mark had been but the tick had already fallen off at this point and i was talking to marco about it and my mom too and apparently it's really common for when horses get tick bites in their mane or their tails that it gets like way more infected than a tick bite would anywhere like on the rest of their body I guess for whatever reason, those areas of skin, maybe with the hair follicles, I'm not totally sure how, are just like way more susceptible to getting infected and itchy and irritated. So she is totally fine now. Margo said that her old pony Paco used to literally lose like giant chunks of hair around tick bites because he was so sensitive to them. Ray just has like a lot of dandruff still in that area. It's now it's just itchy to her. Like she wants me to scratch it now. And so I've been able to get like little bits of dandruff every day, but her hair again is just so freaking thick that it's really hard for me to get all the way down to the skin. But yeah, she's fine now. We're treating it and that's all it was. <laughs> yeah. 
Tippy and I are putting on some, this bottle looks so gross, but hoof polish because it has been so dry so far this summer. Ray does have really good feet, but this just helps. Ray has also been super itchy this summer. Um, she seems to have a lot of skin allergies. So this spray is called IBH spray, insect bite hypersensitivity. And I'm gonna spray it on her legs and then also on her belly where she's got like a strip of, um, gosh, I don't even know what that's called, but like whenever they get like, yeah, a little dry patch. No, wait, yeah, that's it. Like a little dry patch and it's so itchy to her like I'm scratching it right now and she loves it I think the last thing we're gonna do is just wipe out her nose and then we'll call it good for today I'll clean stalls and we'll see how this little bump is later Future Chloe back again. Apparently, um, I just completely forgot to end this vlog. So that was the fifth. Um, on the sixth, Will and I mostly just kind of stayed at home. Um, he was smoking a bunch of meats for my family and they would not stop raving about it. He made smoked chicken, ribs, and oh, this amazing brisket. So that was that. And then the next day we went and saw a movie and I dropped him off at the airport. And then I sent him home on his merry way, but I guess I just didn't record any of that. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later.